We have reached the end of the road here. The 20th season of Inside the Huddle presented by Westway Ford here on Fox Sports Net. I am joined, as always, by my co-host, Laurent Robinson, Cowboys wide receiver, Laurent Robinson. Two touchdowns in the season finale. You led the team in touchdown receptions this year. First off, congratulations on that impressive feat, especially with how the season started. Oh, yeah, thank you, man. You know, it's a blessing, you know, coming here and wearing a star every day in practice. You know, it's just a good feeling. I had a good vibe out there, getting a great connection with Romo and just trying to enjoy the offense and have fun with it. One of the positives of this season, undoubtedly, for the Cowboys, they finished the season 8-8. Eight and eight. Uh, We'll get into the game in a little bit in this show, but it, it's one of those situations, Laurent, where you have a, a fan base so passionate about the Dallas Cowboys and coming into a game of that magnitude with the playoffs on the line, everyone's expecting to see great things out of you guys. In the end, you come up short. Just the disappointing aspect of how the season ended. Yeah, you know, it's a tough loss. You know, we had everything on the line. You know, everything that the whole world's watching Sunday Night Football on NBC. You know, it's a great opportunity for us to step up and show the world that we belong. And, you know, we came out a little flat on offense. We uh, had a couple three announcements. Didn't really help out the defense too much. And, you know, we just got to find ways to start faster than that and finish the uh, game in the fourth quarter. You know, I learned something by watching the game on Sunday night at MetLife Stadium with you guys. I didn't know you knew how to salsa. I didn't. You know, it was, that, was, that, was, that was predetermined right there. That was? Yeah, yeah. That was pretty good. I, I talked mean, to uh, some of my friends before the game. I said I got two celebrations. I'm going to try to use them both. Now, what was the first one? Remember what the first one was? The first one was a LeBron celebration. That's you know? right. Where yeah, you, where you, you, you threw the shot. Right. And, yeah, and throws it up. So. And then the salsa. Yeah, the cruise salsa. All right, since this is the season finale, why don't you start salsa in real quick, and I'll start the show. Uh... Watch ESPN. They showed it, and they're talking about me for that. <laughs> All right. See, there you go. Feel free to pip another network on this program. Time now to go inside the huddle. Welcome to Inside the Huddle. Inside the Huddle is shot live on location at the House of Blues every Monday night. Oh, the time has come. It is the season finale of Inside the Huddle presented by Westway Ford here on Fox Sports Net. We wrap up the 20th season of Inside the Huddle. It all started with Emmett Smith back in 1991. My apologies. Now you get me 20 years later. We are excited to have you in tonight. We like to call these Victory Mondays every once in a while, but all good things must come to an end as the Cowboys season did on Sunday night against the New York Giants. We'll get to that in a minute. First, this segment brought to you by CC Carpet, Albertsons, Under Armour, IPMS, Social Meds, and Pepsi. We would also like to thank all of our sponsors who have been with us the last 20 years. Without them, this show would not be possible. Of course, I'm not up here alone. I'm up here with a co-host each and every week. And my co-host for the better half of this season has been Cowboys ride receiver Laurent Robinson, who, by the way, ended the season leading the Cowboys in touchdown receptions. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the new 81, Laurent Robinson. You know, we've, we've seen Laurent grow as a football player this year, but I would like to be selfish and think that he's grown more as a TV host. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what they did for you within the Cowboys locker room. I would like to think that I made you a better TV personality this year. Yeah, yeah, I think you did, man. You helped me out a lot. Get in front of the camera, get in front of the crowd. Man, I appreciate what you did for me and having me on as a host. Excellent. So what we'll do then is when you sign your new contract and you get a TV deal, we'll talk about that. All right, let's do it. Just the TV part of it. All right, I yeah. had nothing to do with the football. <laughs> Congratulations on a great season. We'll get into that first. You, we've got another guest up here on the stage, Dr. P, a general surgeon from Microsurgery Institute, kind enough to join us this week. And, and Dr. P, one of the big things everyone talks about week in and week out with football is the injuries and how do you heal. No offense to the football players, but there's a lot of time to heal now because it's the off season. In the healing process, for whether it's a pro athlete or a patient, what's the biggest thing in the healing process? I think one of the uh, really good things is with orthopedics or general surgery, uh, you know, back in the day, everybody had to make a big incision. Uh, it wasn't as minimally invasive as it is now. Now, instead of having an incision like this, you've got an incision this big. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's the same thing with general surgery, whether you're operating on the intestines like we do or hernias or gallbladders, people are able to get back to work so much quicker because the injury, the trauma of surgery is so much less. And 
I think with orthopedics, it's the same way. They're able to do everything through a scope. So now an athlete that may not have been able to get to rehab for a couple of months or mm -hmm. a month maybe gets to rehab in two weeks. And that's fantastic because it's when you rest things and you keep things immobilized as they do during the season, they're not able to work those muscles. So then you lose muscle mass and all that kind of stuff. But once you can get back to rehab because they're so minimally invasive, then that way they can work on the flexibility. Mm -hmm. They can work on their physical therapy. They can work on the strength of those joints that aren't being used because you need that for your range of motion. And, and that's going to be real important getting into 2012 for these guys. That was great information. Thank you for your time, Dr. P. This is Dr. P from Microsurgery Institute. Round of applause for him. Now, if I'm, uh, you're a general surgeon over there, if I have a problem with what, I will, become, I will come see you. So we do a lot of abdominal surgery, oh. advanced laparoscopic surgery from gallbladder to hernias and a lot of colorectal stuff Oof. and uh, breast and thyroid surgery. So <laughs> Here's to not seeing Dr. P in the new year. This is Inside the Huddle. We'll be back after the break. This segment of Inside the Huddle was brought to you by Westway Ford, CC Carpet, and Albertsons, it means a great deal. And we have a big sale, check this out. You're gonna be excited, wait. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Mm. Zero percent on everything, everything zero percent. No, Jack, no. Zero percent on select models. There you go, wait for that. Get 0% on every pre-owned and 0% on select new Fords at WestwayFord.com. Just two minutes east of George Bush on 183 at Irving, Las Colinas. Here's the game plan. Save a little cash and show your cowboy spirit. Save 10% on groceries at Albertsons every Cowboys game day when you wear your favorite jersey. Hey, 10% off all your game day favorites. And I know just the jersey to wear. Well, that's a great one. Hi, I'm Steve from CC Carpet. We had another Grand Slam by introducing our best price match guarantee. That's right, Dad, but let's give everyone even more great deals. We have the best prices every day, the best service every day, and the best way to pay for it with 0% interest for 18 months. Now through the end of January, CC Carpet has the best price match guarantee. If you get a better deal on the same product installed, we'll give you the difference back, but only at CC Carpet. CC Foot and heel pain can be debilitating. From the moment you wake up, it can feel like you're walking on a bed of nails. If you've experienced burning, numbness, or tingling in your foot, it could be an entrapped nerve. At the Microsurgery Institute of Dallas, we specialize in one of the most advanced nerve decompression procedures available. So you can do the things you like to do and start to walk away from foot pain for good. Call or log on to Microsurgery Institute of Dallas and start to walk away from foot pain today. Book your perfect getaway now. All I know, I know, I know it's better when you're here. Why wait until the last minute to save? Lock in the best pricing right now for the vacation of your choice with Apple Vacations. Turn fantasies into realities in Mexico, including air, hotel, all meals and drinks. For the right advice and best price, ask an agent. Hurry, best dates and hotels are going fast. Get it loud. Come in close. Footsteps don't lie. So the question is, do you hear footsteps? Or are they hearing yours? This segment of Inside the Huddle was brought to you by Under Armour. Protect this house with Under Armour. Innovative plumbing mechanical services. And social meds. We are back on Inside the Huddle, the season finale here, presented by Westway Ford on Fox Sports Net. I am Matt Barry at the House of Blues in downtown Dallas. We were here each and every Monday throughout the football season, bringing you the best and most comprehensive Cowboys coverage in the area. We are excited about another season coming up. And oh, by the way, uh, breaking news from the Inside the Huddle uh, corporate headquarters. My co-host, Laurent Robinson, is sitting here with me right now. Laurent, I don't know if you heard during the commercial break, but Ray Salinas the captain of Sports Media, Inc., officially invited me back for next year. 
Uh, yeah, I heard that. I didn't know this was coming. <laughs> so we'll talk about it during the commercial break. If we feel that it's a necessary uh, bean, we'll do it. But yeah, I'm only going to go big, by man. your advice. So He's a great host, the, the man. invite, the invite is what meant something. I mean, you know. <laughs> so Ray Salinas, I appreciate the invite. Uh, we'll talk about this after the program. This uh, segment brought to you by Microsurgery Institute, HMS IHOP, and Papa John's. The website CowboysLive.com. The Twitter Cowboys Live 2011. All right, the co-host for the second half of the season was Laurent Robinson, number 81. He led the Cowboys with touchdown receptions with 11 this year. First of all, round of applause for leading the Cowboys in touchdown receptions. I don't know if a lot of people know this about the Cowboys, but they have Miles Austin, Des Bryant, Jason Witten, and a host of a lot of other talent. So for you to come out there and lead the Cowboys in touchdown receptions, Phenomenal season by you, and I speak on behalf of everyone in the audience and everyone who covers the Dallas Cowboys. Get you signed and get you back. <laughs> you know, the other, the other number 81 that roamed the hallways of Valley Ranch for a while, I didn't leave on too popular of a note. Let's get you that jersey for a long time and get you back uh, with the Cowboys. First of all, just what a whirlwind season for you. Oh, yeah. You know, it started off in training camp in San Diego, and then at the end of training camp, got released, you know, ended up getting a workout with Dallas. And uh, in my first practice out there, I hurt my hamstring. So, you know, didn't play the first week. They cut me the second week. Then I was able to come back, got my hamstring right, and played in the third week. And then from there on, just got on the same page with Tony, picked up the offense really quick, and uh, just was excited about wearing a star every day and just trying to take full advantage of every opportunity. Other than play video games in your spare time, do you do any outdoorsy type stuff? Uh, walk the dogs. That's you know, outdoorsy. Yeah, yeah, you know, you walk That's the dogs. Outdoorsy. I can fish, but, you know, when I catch the fish, I can't touch it. So it's kind of like I'm done fishing after I catch it. I don't know what else to do. That's part of the process. Yeah, not for me. Jason Garrett talks about the process. That's part of the fishing process. Yeah, not for me, though. You know, I'm what do you different... do, just sit there and scream? No, nah, whoever's with me is going to have to stop what they're doing and help <laughs> me out and unhook this fish. Yeah, it'll, uh, it'll be interesting. You, by the way, it is Apple Vacations that uh, oh, yeah, provided you. Vacations, have the yeah. fantastic people at Apple Vacations. Uh, was it Cancun or, yeah, I think it's or like Cabo? Cancun-ish, like 15 minutes from Cancun, right on the water. Cancun-ish. It's a new, uh, <laughs> it's a new, place. <laughs> it's a new place in Mexico. Uh, as we do each and every week, we have to uh, get to the Microsurgery Institute report. Before we do that, a quick uh, mention of our guest tonight. Who are you bringing on? Uh, we're bringing in a uh, running back, Sammy Morris, came onto the team late. You know, it's just been a great impact for our team, you know, showing his professionalism by coming in a, in one week and learning offense and making huge plays for us. All right, we'll hear from Sammy Morris after the break. But first, our Microsurgery Institute injury report. This segment of Inside the Huddle was brought to you by Westway Ford. Home Marketing Services. HMS is your one-stop shop for all your real estate and mortgage needs. And IHOP. Time now for our Microsurgery Institute Injury Report. All right, Laurent, it's, it's that time of season. You guys have been through that 17-week marathon. You go back to training camp, all the just the physical wear and tear on your bodies. Not so much about the injuries now, but getting healthy now, going into the offseason, letting your bodies recuperate. What's one of the biggest things you do to get your body healthy? Uh, one thing I do is absolutely nothing. It's you good. know, just, just lay down in bed, you know, just let my body heal for a couple weeks, maybe a month, and just not do anything, just let... Let everything get back to neutral. For, for us weekend warriors that play in men's league softball and all that, we think that we hurt. Uh, you guys essentially ha have a car wreck type collision for 17 weeks. How long does it take for your body to recuperate? I know some of the guys, depending on your age, it takes a little longer. But for you, how long does it take for the wear and tear of a season to kind of heal up? Um, I don't know, maybe about a couple of weeks, three, four weeks. But, uh, you know, it depends on what kind of position you play. And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, I got hit pretty hard last night. I remember. I don't even remember what happened. I got hit hard, and both of my chin straps came off. So really? you know, it was like a car wreck, and my brother said something to me after the game about it, I remember. What did you wake up feeling like after the game? Uh, walking pretty sore, pretty bad, and people were like, why are you walking like an old man? <laughs> so, I don't know. I'm hurting. <laughs> so a lot of liquids in the offseason, a lot of stretching, a lot of rest, and you should be ready for the uh, 2012 season? Yep, that's, that's the plan. That's the plan for everyone, I guess, in life. Water, stretch, and rest. That's the Microsurgery Institute Injury Report. Game day for Dallas Cowboys cornerback Allen Ball. Running back to shard choice and cornerback Orlando Skandrick requires strength, preparation, vision, 
and focus, but it no longer requires contact lenses. <laughs> At least not anymore. Thanks to eye LASIK by Dr. Harvey Carter, official eye surgeon of your Dallas Cowboys. Call to be a part of the Carter Cowboys LASIK celebration. Thank you, Dr. Carter. Something in the pocket. Banana. Side pocket. Apple. Pocket. Strawberries. Fruit pocket pancakes at IHOP. Our famous buttermilk pancakes bursting with the fruit fillings you love starting at $3.99. IHOP. Come hungry, leave happy. People talk about how hard it is to get a house and all the trouble you have to go through. You don't have to go through all that trouble if you're talking with the right people. People always say it's who you know. Well, HMS is the people you need to talk to, and that's who you need to know because they've taken care of us. We called, we came in for the evaluation that same day. They were like, you qualify for this much, you can get a house. And we were calling everybody. We knew at that point, like, we're going to get a house. Get out of the red race, call HMS. Touchdown, Cowboys. Yes! We'll be right back. This season, the Papa John's Cowboys Unlimited Combo is back. And at $10.99 for a large Papa John's pizza with unlimited toppings and a Pepsi 2 liter, it's a dream. With the Cowboys Unlimited Combo, you can get your Papa John's pizza however you want it. It's the perfect combination of hot, fresh Papa John's pizza, ice cold Pepsi, and Dallas Cowboys football. Order yours online for just $10.99. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. This segment of Inside the Huddle was brought to you by Papa John's. Better ingredients, better pizza. Heradura Tequila. And Lifestyle Technologies, your solution for integrated electronics in the home and office. We are back on Inside the Huddle, presented by Westway Ford here on Fox Sports Net. We are at the House of Blues in downtown Dallas. I am your host, Matt Berry. Tonight's guest was brought in by the Dallas Cowboys, I believe, against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and he ran like the 22-year-old he is. Ladies and gentlemen, put your heads together. The Cowboys running back. Uh, apparently, he was just mistaken for Warren Moon, <laughs> but it is actually Sammy Morris. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. <laughs> Sammy Morris, our guest on tonight's program. There you go. Sammy, uh, appreciate your time. How are you feeling on this uh, Monday after the season? I uh, feel like a 34-year-old 34, 34 running back would, pretty sore. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's lingering now, isn't it? Yeah it's, yeah, it's starting to catch up, and, you know, I guess fortunately slash unfortunately the season's over with now, so I'll get to go back to feeling normal. You have a very uh, interesting story. You and I had talked after the Tampa game, your first game as a member of the Dallas Cowboys, and you had told me that you were pretty so sold in the fact that football was over for you. Yeah, I mean, well, I had, you know, I had, uh, I was uh, in camp with uh, with the New England uh, Patriots this year, and yep. um, you know, ended up uh, getting cut at the uh, the last cuts, and uh, you know, like I said, week after week after week, and no call. I pretty much just figured, you know, you know, probably not a lot of thirty four year old running backs who got the phone ringing off the hook. So <laughs> I had, uh, you know, I was pretty much resorted to to being a dad and being a husband back at home. Mm -hmm. And then you got the call from the Cowboys. What was that like? Uh, I mean, it's completely uh, from left field. You know, I. You know, I really, and even when I saw, you know, DeMar uh, DeMarco got hurt, um, I mean, it didn't really even cross my mind that, uh, you know, that I would be a, a potential, you know, suitor to kind of fill that spot. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, my agent gave me the, made the call and called me and we did it. How old are your kids? Uh, 12, 9, and 8. Oh, okay. So they're getting to the age now. They, they, they play sports? Yeah, uh, both my girls are in, uh, in gymnastics, and then my son just started football this past. And I, that's one thing I was doing when I was out. I was actually coaching this team. Oh, you were coaching them up? Yeah, yep, yep. So you, uh, who you've played for uh, Bill Belichick, and you've, you've uh, played for Jason Garrett. Have you used any of their – are you going to use any of their vernacular when you're coaching? Yeah, I was kind of stealing some of Jason's stuff, um, you know, just the, the, the short weeks I was here. And I've got, you know, three or four notebooks full of uh, Coach Belichick stuff, so – Trying to, uh, trying to recycle. You're going to be running a Pop Warner dynasty yeah. out there. Right? <laughs> You're going to go talking to your players about how you stack good days on yeah, top yeah. of each other. <laughs> exactly. And how it's all about the process. we got to get better. Yeah. Exactly. And, and, and know, and know you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Wait, that's, what, that's, what's that's, it? That's, that's a Garrettism? Saying. Yeah, yeah. What's he say? Know, and know you know. Know, and know you know. Yeah. So I, basically I like have confidence. One. Yeah. So he just, but he decides to say no and no, you know. Yeah, I like that. We'll be back after the break on the final edition of Inside the Huddle this year. Presented by Westway Ford, this segment brought to you by Lifestyle Technologies. Huradura Tequila, 7-Eleven, and Apple Vacations, which is why Laurent's going to Mexico. We'll be back for the final segment of the year right after this. <laughs> 
This segment of Inside the Huddle was brought to you by Westway Ford, Apple Vacations, Dymaco, Pepsi Max, the official soft drink of the Dallas Cowboys, and your local 7-Eleven store. Keith, you know when you've made it? No. You've made it. Once you get your own action figure, check this out. What do you think? Impressive? Where's your action figure? That's not an action figure. Sure it is. No, that's a bobblehead. And anyone can have a bobblehead. Anyone doesn't have one now. Drive up to 790 miles on a single tank and get 7,000 in rebates on any F-Series truck at westwayford.com. Two minutes east of George Bush on 183 at Irving, Las Colinas. You know my Jason, when he really wants something bad enough, there's no point in trying to stop him. So when he wants a great steak, I go straight to Albertsons. Because I know that they only sell the best USDA choice beef. Always tender, always full of flavor. That's what Jason wants every time. And believe me, you wouldn't want to get in his way. Now that's choice. And it's only choice beef at Albertsons. Albertsons, it means a great deal. Hi, I'm Steve from CC Carpet. We had another Grand Slam by introducing our best price match guarantee. That's right, Dad, but let's give everyone even more great deals. We have the best prices every day, the best service every day, and the best way to pay for it with 0% interest for 18 months. Now through the end of January, CC Carpet has the best price match guarantee. If you get a better deal on the same product installed, we'll give you the difference back, but only at CC Carpet. CC Foot and heel pain can be debilitating. From the moment you wake up, it can feel like you're walking on a bed of nails. If you've experienced burning, numbness, or tingling in your foot, it could be an entrapped nerve. At the Microsurgery Institute of Dallas, we specialize in one of the most advanced nerve decompression procedures available. So you can do the things you like to do and start to walk away from foot pain for good. Call or log on to Microsurgery Institute of Dallas and start to walk away from foot pain today. Book your perfect getaway now. All I know, I know, I know it's better when you're here. Why wait until the last minute to save? Lock in the best pricing right now for the vacation of your choice with Apple Vacations. Turn fantasies into realities in Mexico, including air, hotel, all meals and drinks. For the right advice and best price, ask an agent. Hurry, best dates and hotels are going fast. Loud. Coming close. Footsteps don't lie. So the question is, do you hear footsteps? Or are they hearing yours? This segment of Inside the Huddle was brought to you by Gillespie Jewelers, Champion Limousines, and Replicopy. It all comes down to this, the final segment of Inside the Huddle presented by Westway Ford here on Fox Sports Net, but you don't have to stop living the show. The website, Laurent, CowboysLive.com, the Twitter, Cowboys Live 2011. This segment brought to you by Dimaco, Gillespie's Jewelers, Champion Limos, Now Jade Hotel and Resort. It has been a fantastic football season here on Inside the Huddle. Laurent Robinson co-hosted with me the back half of the season. It has been fun. He brought on one final guest to wrap up the season. And uh, Laurent, since you are now a professional broadcaster, I figured what better way to end the season than have you interview uh, Sammy Morris to end it all up. All right, all right. Sammy, how you doing today, man? I'm doing well, doing well, <laughs> doing well. <laughs> Uh, earlier you said you were a 34-year-old running back, so uh, how many years have you been playing in the, football, in the National Football League? Uh, with, the, uh, with the three weeks that I hear with the, with the Cowboys, that officially made it 12 years. Uh, wow. So uh, 12 years, drafted in uh, 2000 by the uh, Buffalo Bills. Buffalo Bills. What, what round were you drafted in? Uh, fifth round draft pick. What was your um, your first number you wore up in Buffalo? <laughs> uh, it's actually one of the, uh, the the worst numbers possible for running back. <laughs> uh, I had 45 as a rookie. Wow. 
and then I had 33 my second year, and then uh, then I had 31 my last two years there. All right, yeah. yeah. That's a little awkward for 45 oh, yeah, yeah. for a running back. A little, well, I mean, I, and I was a rookie, so I was just thankful just to have a number. You yeah, know what I'm saying? So that's you, why I, I, didn't, I didn't even say anything that first year. I just I just let it ride. But, uh, you know, I, and actually I won at 33, and then we signed uh, Sam Gash. I don't know if anybody even knows. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. but uh, so he was he was given my number. Not that he asked me. He was given my number. <laughs> and, uh, but, yeah, he's, he's a great guy, so it was cool. This wraps up the 20th season of Inside the Huddle. Like I said earlier in the program, it started back in 1991 with the great Emmett Smith, the Hall of Famer Emmett Smith, and here we are today with Laurent Robinson and Sammy Morris. It has been a fantastic program and an honor to be a part of this year. A special thank you uh, to the folks at Sports Media. Without them, we wouldn't be possible. Ray Salinas, Becky Brune, Shannon Cook, Carly, and Eddie Guerrero. A round of applause for them. Just they put on this show, Sports Media, responsible for the show. We'd also like to say thank you to Gridiron Films and Brandon Meyer, sound engineer Ted Nichols Payne, House of Blues, and of course, the real people we couldn't do the show without all of our sponsors HMS, Carter Eye Care Center, Microsurgery, Westway Ford, CC Carpet, Albertsons, Papa John's, IHOP. Everyone has been fantastic for us this season. Uh, we were talking about it earlier before the commercial break. Uh, what was our favorite moment of the season? And it was voted on by Laurent Robinson and myself that the favorite moment of the season, for those of you who were here, was when Tyron Smith celebrated <laughs> his 21st birthday and we ended the show and the only way we oh, could wow. end the show is with Miss Price singing happy birthday. So what we're going to do to end this season of Inside the Huddle, we are going to bring Miss Price up on stage one final time. Yeah! And it just, I mean, it's what you have to do. It's the, it's, it's the right thing to do. So come on up, Miss Price. <laughs> For Sammy Morris, Laurent Robinson, I'm your host, Matt Berry. It's been a pleasure being here each and every Monday. Come on up, Miss Price. Don't hurt yourself. Yeah. There we go. And she's as, uh, she's as festive as ever. And she's going to hug it out and do a lot of uncomfortable stuff. We'll see everybody next year. Right here on Inside the Huddle. Have a great offseason, everybody. We'll see you next season. Wave to the camera. Wave to the camera. Inside the Huddle is sponsored by Carter Eye Center, HMS, Papa John's, Westway Ford, Albertsons, Lifestyle Technologies, the Microsurgery Institute, Under Armour, CC Carpet, Pepsi Max, and your local 7-Eleven store. Inside the Huddle is a production of Sports Media. Video production by Gridiron Films.